The following is a class on Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, first chapter, text number one, given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada in February 1972 in Los Angeles, California. Om Ramo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Janma Dasya Jatu Annaya Dhitarata Sarthi Avigya Sarat Tini Brahma Rida Ja Adi Kavai Muyanti Ja Suraya Tija Bari Midang Jatha Binimayo Jatra Sisabkam Nisha Dhara Sina Sada Nirasta Kokang Satang Param Dhimai This is a prayer offered by uh, Srila Vyasadeva before uh, writing Srimad Bhagavatam. He offers his respectful obeisances to Bhagavati Vasudeva. Bhagavati means the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is known as Vasudeva. Uh, uh, he appeared, Lord Krishna appeared as the son of Bhushudev. Uh, therefore, he is called Vasudev. Uh, another meaning is that uh, he is all pervading. Everywhere he is present. Uh, so, Vasudev. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, the origin of everything. Janma Dasya Jataha. Janma means uh, creation. Uh, creation of this material world, cosmic manifestation, is from Vasudev. Janma Adi means creation, maintenance, and annihilation. Anything in this material world has three features. It is created at a certain depth. It exists for a certain number of years, and then it is uh, dissolved or annihilated. That is called janmadyasya, janma sthiti law. So everything is taking place uh, from the Supreme Personality of God. The cosmic manifestation is also emanating from Him. It is existing on His energy, external energy or it is being maintained by his external energy. And as everything material dissolves ultimately or annihilates, so after annihilation the power merges into him. The power, the energy is extended from him and maintained by his energy, and again when it is dissolved, it merges into him. This is the way of creation, maintenance, and dissolution. Now the question is that the supreme power, or the supreme source, what is the nature of that Supreme Source? Is it matter or living force? Uh, the Bhagavad says, no, it cannot be matter. From matter nothing is created automatically. We have no such experience. Unless 
there is some living force behind the matter, there cannot be anything creation. We have no such experience. Uh, just like anything material, suppose a motor car, it has got all the machine equipped, subtle machines, but still the motor car cannot move automatically. There must be a driver. And the driver is a living force. Therefore, the original source of everything must be a living force. This is the conclusion of Bhagavad. And what kind of living force? That means he knows everything. Just like an expert motor mechanic, he knows everything. Therefore he can detect. When the motor car stops, he can immediately detect how the motor car has stopped. So he tightens one screw or does something so that it is again uh, in motion. Therefore in Bhagavad says that the original source of all emanation knows everything. Annayat itaratascha arkeshu directly and indirectly. It's so uh, expert. Just like I am the creator of this body. I am a living soul. Uh, as, as I deserve, I have created this body. Energy, by my energy, uh, according to my desire, I have produced this body. But although I am claiming uh, my body, I do not know how the body is working. That is unknown to me. Uh, I cut my hair, but I do not know how the hair grows again. I cut my nails, but I do not know how the what is the function going on inside, so that even after cutting the nails and hairs, again it grows. Neither I do know I am eating, I know because I am eating something substantial, it is transforming into different types of secretion within my abdomen, and the secretion is uh, distributed. I have known it from some medical practitioner or medical science, but so far I am concerned. I do not know how the, my food stuff is transformed into blood, how the blood is uh, transmitted in different parts of my body, and then I get again energy. Uh, actually I do not know. But the Supreme Personality of Godhead, He knows indirectly and directly both how this material cosmic manifestation is working. He knows everything. Uh, how the sun is rising, uh, how the moon is rising, how the ocean are steady. It is not uh, trespassing on the land, such a big ocean, uh, it can uh, over flood immediately any city or any land within a second. But it is not doing that. So the direction is there. Therefore Bhagavad says that the original source of everything is uh, sentient, conscious, and consciously is controlling.
everything. Annayat itaratascha artheshu avigya. Avigya means completely cognizant. The next question may be raised that where from he got the knowledge? He is the origin. Because we have got this idea that uh, any living being, he gets knowledge from other. Uh, just like we have got our knowledge from our spiritual master. My disciples are getting knowledge uh, from me. So their knowledge is also uh, given by somebody. It has got a source. But if the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the origin, uh, how he got this knowledge of creation, maintenance? Uh, the answer is Sarat. He did not get knowledge from any, anyone. He is self-sufficient himself in knowledge. That is the nature of God. Uh, he does not require to get knowledge from anyone superior because uh, nobody can be superior than God, neither equal to God. Asama urdha, nobody is equal to Him, nobody is greater than Him. Uh, now we have got experience that the the first creature, living creature within this universe is Lord Brahma. So he also got knowledge uh, without any help of others because there was, he is the first living creature. So there was no other living creature. So how he got knowledge? So does it mean this original source is Lord Brahma. People may question. Now Bhagavad says, no. He is the original creature of this universe. That's all right. But he is also a created being. Because the cosmic manifestation was created by God the Supreme, and after this creation, Brahma was created. Therefore he is a created being after the cosmic manifestation. And because God or the Supreme Lord, He is the Creator, so He is not one of the created beings. He creates, but He is not created. But Brahma is created. Therefore, he gets knowledge from the Supreme Creator, who is independent. Now, the process is just that we approach the spiritual master to get knowledge. So, there was no visible living creature before Brahma. So, how he got knowledge? The answer is, Tene Brahma Rida Adikavai. Adikavai, the first created living being, Brahma, was educated from within the heart. That means Krishna, Vasudev, or the Supreme Lord, is situated in everyone's heart. He is situated in Brahma's heart also. He is situated in your heart, my heart. And Rida, this very word is used. Rida means heart. So he can educate anyone within the heart. Uh, but why we are not? Uh, aware of him. Theoretically we know, but practically in our conditioned state 
we cannot understand how he is directing us, but he is directing. That's a fact. Brahma is not ordinary living being. Therefore, he could take direction from the Supreme Lord uh, within the heart. We can also take when we are qualified exactly like Brahma. Brahma appeared to serve the Lord, to fulfill the desire of the Lord. Just like we engage one carpenter, and I ask him to, to make a cabinet for me, I give him the ingredients, tools, or wages, and he creates a cabinet. Similarly, uh, God created the ingredients and the uh, manufacturer also, uh, and Brahma created this universe, but he is not the original creator. Uh, the original creator is Krishna. As such, the original proprietor is also Krishna, because he has created the ingredients. Uh, actually, when we work in practical field, uh, the ingredients we cannot create. Uh, the, we suppose we construct a very high skyscraper building, but the ingredients, namely the earth, stone, wood, iron, which are the ingredients of the house, that we cannot create. Uh, that is created by God. We simply transform, uh, we take earth, dirt from the earth and mix it with water. The water is created by God, the earth is created by God. Then we mix it and make a lump like brick and uh, put it in the fire. The fire is also created by God. In this way, if we study scrutinizingly the ingredients and the materials which we are handling, they are not our creation, they are creation of God. We simply handle them. But because we handle them, it does not become our property. This is sense. Suppose I am worker, I am handling some other things, materials, and preparing something. Now that does not mean when the thing is manufactured, complete, it becomes my property. No. How it can be? Therefore the philosophy is that everything belongs to Krishna, God. I also belong to Him. And whatever I do, manufacture, that also belongs to Him. This sense to understand that everything belongs to God, I also belong to God, my intelligence also belongs to God, the ingredients or physical elements with which I work, that also belongs to God. Then where is the Oh, for my claiming that I am proprietor. This is called illusion. So this Krishna consciousness movement is meant for reviving the original consciousness of the human society because in the cats and dogs or animals, such consciousness cannot be uh, invoked. They are so dull and in the lowest stage of consciousness, it is not possible for them to understand 